Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the first ever BMW full electric premium SUV with a dedicated EV platform, the BMW iX. Whenever car makers release a concept car, it always looks absolutely unbelievably futuristic. And this has been the case for as long as the history of automotive industry itself. The thing with concept cars is that consumers and auto enthusiasts have almost developed an automatic expectation that the actual production version will look nothing like the concept car in order to protect ourselves from immense disappointment. This has been the case for far too long, until recently. Take a look at the Porsche Mission E concept released in 2015 for example. When I first saw those concept photos from Porsche, I was totally blown away. Instinctively, I told myself, there's no freaking way the production model will look anything near as good as the concept. Then when the production Taycan was released in 2019, my jaws dropped in utter disbelief that an automaker actually made the car that resembles the original concept car. And in some ways, the production Taycan looks even better than Mission E concept to my eyes. The proportion of the body lines look a bit more mature on the Taycan and a bit less comical compared to the Mission E's concept exaggerated lines. Then you have the Audi e-tron GT concept world premiere at the LA Auto Show in late 2018. When you compare the actual e-tron GT from 2021 to 2018 concept, they literally look completely identical. It's as if Audi finished making the production version of the Audi e-tron GT, unveiled it to the world in 2018, calling it a concept, and then simply putting it into production immediately. There is literally no difference between the concept e-tron GT to the production version. Even the Mercedes Vision EQS, which looked like a car from the sci-fi future, didn't stray too far away from the production EQS. In the automotive industry, there are many kinds of trends. Some are good and some are not so good. For example, piano black interior trim and touchscreen climate controls are definitely in a not so good trend. But by putting concept cars into actual production definitely seems like an awesome trend to me. And I really hope that will be the case for all new cars in the future. But when BMW unveiled its iNX concept in late 2018, I almost didn't know how to react. The concept pictures were so shockingly vulgar that I simply couldn't imagine a car that looks anything remotely similar to the concept be put into production. It wasn't necessarily ugly in my opinion, and there were a ton of people that called the iNX concept disgusting. It's just a shape. The lines, the headlights, and even the kidney grill doesn't look like anything BMW has ever designed before. Fast forward to June 2nd of 2021, BMW has officially unveiled the BMW iX and unbelievably, the production iX doesn't look that much different to the concept. Yes, the headlights are not as narrow, but the overall shape and proportions stay true to the concept. The BMW iX is BMW's answers to Tesla Model X, Audi e-tron SUV, Mercedes upcoming EQE and EQS SUV. With a drag coefficient of 0.25, this is the most aerodynamic SUV BMW has ever created. And only just shy of the 0.24 drag coefficient of Model X, which Tesla claims to be the lowest drag of any SUV on sale. The dimensions of the iX is also quite similar to the BMW X5. It's about an inch longer, an inch narrower, and two inches lower when compared to the BMW X5's dimension. The front of the iX features a newly designed twin kidney grille that apparently has self-healing properties. For example, if you scratch the grille with a key, simply heat the kidney grille and the scratch will magically go away on its own. I wonder why can't automakers apply this technology to the car's entire paint coat rather than just the grille. The front of the iX, as dramatic as it is, still resembles the BMW. Most people, even the ones that aren't car people, looking at the iX from the front should still recognize the twin kidney grille and identify the iX as a BMW. But the rear of the car, it's another story. The rear taillights are just a slim line. It's simple yet futuristic all at once and really doesn't look anything like BMW's classic L-shaped rear light design. I think if you were to remove the BMW badge and show it to anyone that doesn't know about the iX yet, they probably wouldn't be able to guess that this was a BMW on their first try. The BMW iX has a really challenging design that needs to grow on you. 
When I first saw the IX, I simply couldn't believe how ugly it was and I cast it off to the side as a car that I will never pay attention to. But as time went by and I saw more and more pictures of it, I started slowly changing my mind. Do I think it's a good looking car? Probably not and definitely not in the traditional sense. But for some weird reason, I would consider buying this car if I were in the EV SUV market due to how bold, different than anything else on the road, and futuristic the BMW iX looks. I really want to commend BMW for this bold design. Stay tuned for part 2!